Yo, what's going on, guys? Beautiful day. Uh, I don't want to say I'm shocked, surprised, or whatever. I expected more of a battle for this $40 mark, obviously. We've seen this. We've seen this for eons, it seems like, since 801. Every other Friday or so, we got a battle for whatever strike price we're looking at to keep these options in the money. Today was smooth sailing. I think they're having the damnedest time keeping this thing down, right? Um, so, beautiful week. Beautiful week. Beautiful day, obviously. Uh, I don't know how on God's green earth we're going to make it through this weekend with these earnings coming up on Monday. Everybody is just fired the frick up. Um, we've had a lot of these weekends where there have been long ones ever since I've been on YouTube now, seven months or whatever it's been. You know, we've had those uh, three-day weekends and we got a catalyst coming up or earnings or rules that go into effect, 005s, and whatever the case might be. We've had some long ones where we've made it through, but I'm telling you what, this is probably the most jacked I've been, impatient I will be until Monday rolls around, and then obviously uh, the earnings after hours on Monday. So jacked is uh, probably a, a too light of a term to use, and I know all of you guys are as well. So Beautiful day, finishing up almost 5%, 4.12%, 4170, well above the 40 bucks. Um, great, absolutely great. Uh, let's touch on a few things tonight here. And then a beautiful piece uh, on the SEC over here, cracking down on a, a fraudulent scumbag. And then speaking of scumbags, we've got a turn of the day I'm going to bring up here at the end, right? Uh, we touched on this last night. I did. I just brought it up, and most of you guys obviously know it. It's nothing new right? But keeping this thing, uh, that 41, 42, once we hit 43 bucks or so, it gets just hammered down. They can't afford this to keep this thing at that. But right here, Charles Payne said, market minute says AMC threw $45 and it's to the moon. I agree. Um, holding this thing down, the higher it gets, obviously we know what they're out this week. We touched on AMC, GME, them guys being down $2.7 billion on them stocks, right? Um, yeah. Obviously, they can't afford it. So, Monday cannot come soon enough. A um, couple of things in this cracked me up here. Speaking of meme stocks, right? Meme stocks will just keep rising, Market Maker, Market Watcher says. The Fed Reserve signal that it could eventually raise interest rates, though not anytime soon, is not likely to stop the rise of meme stock, analyst says, an investor said. In fact, there's not much the Fed will do to affect meme stocks at all. The meme stock phenomenon has as much to do with gambling and sticking it to the institutional Wall Street narrative, and I don't think that will be affected by actions on the Fed. So for now, meme investors are likely to continue to pile in whatever the Reddit boards tells them to do. <laughs> yeah, boy. You know, they just try to downplay this like we're a bunch of dodo birds. Uh, we're not, folks. I might be a dummy, you know, just talking about stuff on the World Wide Web, sharing some information. But I tell you what, some of the most intelligent pieces of due diligence that I have ever seen have came from Reddit, Twitter, you name it. Obviously, we know, you guys, there's some sharp people wherever you go. We've got some very sharp leaders, right? we got a tw the the king ape himself is a 23-year-old kid in the military, and the guy's about as sharp as they get. 23 years old, I couldn't talk to my parents, let alone do an interview on CNBC and sound like a damn professional. Sound smarter than the other guys talking. So, yeah, folks, we're just fine. Big dummies. Look at this son of a gun here. SEC wins jury trial against hedge fund advisor who ran manipulative short scheme. Uh, straight from the SEC website over here. Touch on a brief. They, they won. The SEC won. Usually the SEC is going to trial. They're 99.9% .9 they're going to win, but this guy sounds like a real scumbag here, this firm. Jurors in Boston Federal Court today returned a verdict in the Securities Exchange Commission's favor against a hedge fund advisor and his investment advisory firm. Gregory Lemelson and Massachusetts-based Lemelson Capital Management LLC were cha charged with fraud in September of 2018 for reaping more than $1.3 million in illegal profits by making false statements to drive down the price of a San Diego-based Legend Pharmaceuticals, Inc. The SEC's evidence at trial showed that after establishing a short position in Ligand, though through his hedge fund, Lamison made a series of false statements to shake investors' confidence to Ligeland and lower its stock price down here 
entered into a sham transaction with a unaudited shell company in order to pad its balance sheet. Yeah. Sound familiar, guys? Scumbags. Good for them. They're busted. Cat Striker, the one, the only. Um, this is incredible. Let's see if we can get to 5000 bucks. She tweeted this out at what time? 2.09. So, judging about seven hours ago from the time I'm making this video, right? So, Mr. Mark Coads himself, our new uh, ape that bought the massive amount of shares earlier this week. Here is what... Here is where you all donate, and I will match it when we hit 5,000. Take a guess where we're at. He retweeted this when. When did he make? It doesn't matter. Seven hours ago, roughly. We're at 65.30. You throw his five racks on top of there. That's another $11,553. $530 for, you know, Citadel, Ape Signs, whatever. They have been flown from Kingdom Come by Cat Striker putting all this stuff together here, and it's just more to come. Every city, every it doesn't matter. I mean, does it get any better than this, you guys? Honest to God, does it? So awesome job, obviously, by Cat. She's been doing this for months and months and months. And then our new ape, Mr. Mark Coads over here, throwing an extra five racks. I mean, how good is that? That's just outstanding. Look at these scumbags here. At least 18 billionaires got federal stimulus checks, report says. Of course they did. At least 18 billion, billion with a B, you guys, billionaires, and hundreds of other ultra-wealthy individuals received federal stimulus checks, even though the payments were aimed helping poor and middle-income households. About 270 wealthy people received payments in the first round of stimulus checks directed by lawmakers in 2020, despite having a total of $5.7 in income. Jesus, man. Just scumbag after scumbags after scumbags. You got enough money, you know? A lot of people say, oh, well, that's how they become rich, and, you know, stop. Stop, man. No care in the world besides themselves. Sound, sound familiar? Kenny Griffin, Citadel? Dicks. Look at this. Investors flee Brazil hedge fund after surge in interest rates. Bra Brazilian hedge funds are hemorrhaging money and as sharp interest rates increase the appeal over safer bets in fixed income assets. Investors pulled out 12.5 billion uh, rias, whatever the hell that is. That must be their Brazilian money, right? However you pronounce that shit. 2.2 billion out of the domestic hedge funds in October. It comes after 13.4 billion uh, outflow in September, the biggest monthly withdrawal since uh, 2017. Here's a little graph here to show you. Fixed income, ETFs, and then... Uh, so, yeah, people pulling their money out sound like a miniature uh, United States of America coming up here shortly, folks. Uh, touch briefly on the old 68% uh, sounds like to me 69%. Let's just round it off to 70% every single damn day we look at this. It's always the same. Uh, and then the old 54000 in the money. What's next week look like? 22,061. Well, obviously, that'll be heating up come uh, early this week, you guys, right? Um, also, too, the global popcorn market to reach 16.1 billion by 2026. Um, so, yeah, if you guys are laughing, I've seen some people joking around about the pop. Oh, popcorn selling popcorn. Stop. The, I, I don't. It's kind of hard to find anything else with the, the bigger markup, especially movie theater popcorn, than popcorn. 60, that's a lot of popcorn, folks. But anyway, down here, global global popcorn markets to reach 16.1 billion by 2026. The U.S. market is estimated at 3.2 billion in 2021, while China is forecasted to reach 3.4 billion in 2026. Jesus, we are some popcorn eating sons of guns. Okay, guys, let's have some fun this weekend. Uh, don't need to pop anything in the video. We got no homework assignments tonight. Uh, so, yeah, let's get through these couple days here. I know everybody's jacked to the gills. So am I. Let's get some sleep, get rested up, because Monday is sure going to be a lot of fun. Right, guys? Uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow evening. I'll come up with something fun tomorrow. Maybe we'll play some sort of game or uh, giveaway or do something. Right? Okay, guys, love you. See you later.